Good morning and greetings from a really beautiful day here in Uppingham. And of course, this week you'll be at home, but most of you will be back next Sunday getting ready for a Monday morning, which I hope is equally as lovely as this. I sense the excitement building and we're really looking forward to being back here and seeing what's going on. Behind me, of course, is the Mem Hall, and you can see the scaffolding is very much on its way down. The hall has been renovated inside, and we shall go in in a minute, and you can have a little sneak preview this morning. But boy, Jerome K. Jerome wrote in Three Men in a Boat, there's nothing like watching other people work. And if you want to see acts of extraordinary physical courage, watching our scaffolders take down that construction which covered the roof of the Mem has been one of the most amazing things I've seen you develop a whole new found respect for people when you watch them doing their jobs. So here we are inside this fabulous facility, rejuvenated and refreshed and waiting for Uppingham Music to resonate within its walls once more. Last week I mentioned that Mr. Cooper was crunching his algorithm and preparing the commendation list for this week. So it's my great pleasure now to announce those of you in the various year groups who've really, really impressed. So, Who's on the list this week? Fourth form, you've got the Mary Poppins chimney pot backdrop. Who's on the list? Well, you are Frankie Cobb and Rutendo Chigamadzi, also commended for the most improved ATL, so well done to you, Rutendo. Matilda Holford, Harvey Sales, Edward Vertigan, Christina Clinch, Eliazar Mauchenko, Shivani Joshi, Aquamarine Lee, and the most improved ATL? Yes, you, Carl Wu. Well done to you all. Lower fifth, Harry Codrington, Yu Tung Sai, Simon He, Yuna Ding, Alexander Gerasimchuk, Lucas Butler, Fiona Ginger, Matthew Y, Oliver Clements, Anouk Solomons, James Lilly, and with the most improved ATL, two of you. Well done, Charles Vizzoni and David Sawunmi. Congratulations to you all. Upper fifth. Before I read your commendations, you might want to note just over my shoulder is the portrait of a headmaster of Uppingham, John Frederick Wolfenden, later Lord Wolfenden, who was headmaster between 1934 and 44 and saw the school through most of the Second World War. He's probably most famous for a report he produced in 1957 which decriminalised homosexuality in this country. A really, really important moment in acceptance and tolerance in this nation as the law changed and something we should be hugely grateful to for Lord Wolfenden in making happen. So who's on the list? Well, Kate McCallum, Josh Toombs Hall, but also commended for the most improved ATL, Altair Kurban, Eliza Sexton, Polina Pushkareva, Christian Bradbury, Katie Judd, Aidan Hodgson, Amalan Munzasarov, Chuchapol Siranathachai, and the most improved ATL, well, Harvey Payne, it's you. Congratulations to all of you on the list. Well, lower sixth, there are a much larger number of commendations than usual, which is brilliant because everybody I'm going to read has gained straight fours for ATL. That says wonderful things about the year group as a whole, and you, of course, as individuals. So well done, Elva Al, Aidan Butler, Veronica Toe, Charlotte Benbow, William Barbrook, Dana Mershanova, Amelie Puella, Althea Stevenson, Eddie Jang, William Marriage, Guy Nichols, Imogen Pollard, Georgia Blackman, and Kevin Liu. But the most improved ATL of all was William Wakeford, Ito Murakami, and Bogdan Moglinski. Congratulations to all of you in the lower sixth. And with a drum roll, who in the upper sixth? Well, do you know, of these pupils, they all gained straight fours for ATL. We cannot ask more than that. Michael Chen, Leo Liu, Daniel Livermore, Clemmy Manning, Georgie Goswell, Brenna Tai, Juliet Ball, Olivia Clark, and Ellie Buttery. And who were the most improved in the upper sixth? Well, it was you, Cameron Sprott, Anya Batty, and Elsa Leva. Congratulations to you all. Now, for many of you, you associate the Memorial Hall with exams, public exams, GCSEs, A-levels, preparation, stress, anxiety. Well, this summer, for those of you in the upper fifth and the upper sixth, 
That won't be the case. We know that for certain now because this year Ofqual published their regulations. Now, during the course of this week, I'm going to sit down with Mr. Cooper and talk to him, and we're going to film our conversation and answer, I hope, all the sorts of questions that you've got in your mind. But suffice it to say, what you need to know today is that the work you do from here on in the rest of this term, and of course in those seven weeks of the summer term, it's really going to matter, but in a positive way. It'll be a chance for you to show what you can do, what you are capable of. And we'll be setting up that term so that you're in the best possible position to show the standards that you can reach. So from here on in, upper fifth and upper sixth, see this as an opportunity. Get your heads down, work as hard as you can, give all you've got, just as you have been these last two years. And together, we'll make sure you get over that line as best you possibly can. So there we are, Uppingham. One more week of virtual Uppingham for most of you. And again, as I said on Tuesday evening, um, how sad that some of you won't be in a position um, to be able to rejoin us. But we're thinking of you, and we really, really hope we'll see you with us in April. But enjoy this week, everybody. Power on through. And I really look forward to seeing you IRL, in real life, next week. <laughs>